Hey guys, welcome back. Obviously, um, so one of the recent videos I did, actually it wasn't that recent, it was uh, Hank Williams Jr., I think a country boy can survive. It's a few months ago. Recently started getting a lot of traction here on YouTube. Um, well, first of all, welcome back or welcome to Mike Reacts. Uh, we're going to be reacting to country music today. Um, we started off, I started off on this channel reacting to country music. Uh, I went away from it, from it a little bit. Started looking at more American cultural things other than music like sports and history, uh, etc. Um, but we're going to do a bit more country music today. I'll bang out a few videos here for you, um, listening to some new music. So I'm really excited for this one. Uh, like I was saying, I had a really, really uh, su well, relatively successful video on Hank Williams Jr., Country Boy Can Survive. And one of the biggest comments that I got, requests rather, as you can see here. These are three that I should I should have a look at apparently. So Dixie on my mind, Texas women, and Whiskey Bent and Hellbound. We're gonna start with we're gonna go backwards. We're gonna start with Whiskey Bent and Hellbound because um, I've actually received uh, quite a few requests for this one. So I'm really excited for it. I mean I love Hank Williams Jr. So let's get to it. Uh, don't forget guys to like and subscribe if you enjoy this content, if you enjoy this channel um, and leave a comment down below with your suggestions because I'm going to be going through, th through them one by one and um, yeah, you want to see the song that you love most being reacted to by some British guy over here in just outside the outskirts of London, let me know right down in the comments and also don't forget guys if you want to head over to my Patreon, the link is down below in the description, um, any subscription, uh, it's just $5 per month and, and I really really appreciate it, oh yeah you might have seen, yeah that's just a burn on my hand, um, but yeah I'll see you over on Patreon if you so choose to be there, let's get to this, just so you guys know I'm going to be pausing the song every now and again, I have to for copyright reasons, YouTube tries to block the video from even being published if I don't uh, pause it every now and again, it's stupid, I know, right? But um, I'm going to have to do that, and I'm really, really sorry. Um, obviously, you guys will know this song, so you're free to go listen to it fully uh, by yourselves. But I'm going to, of course, react to this, and I'll give you my thoughts throughout. So let's get to this. I've got a good one. What? Sorry, that's really interesting. Um, I think every man's like uh, that way. Uh, I think men and women are together uh, by God's choosing, uh, because one makes the other better, uh, and vice versa. Um, one hundred percent. Those are accurate words. Very wise. All right, let's carry on. I'll skip it. I'll go back. Myself at all, and I get whiskey bent, hell bound. Yeah, play me some songs about a lemon man, man. Mm. put a cold one in my hand. Mm. Cause you know, I love to hear those guitar sounds. Something he said there, uh, play me a song about a rambling man and put a cold, cold one in my hand. Uh, I feel that, guys, are 100%. I think, not to every man, but to a lot of men <clears throat> who grew up a certain way and have been through certain experiences in life, that, uh, that idea of being a rambling man is a is an appealing one actually uh and you know when you're on the whiskey it becomes even more appealing that's that's really really interesting wow talking about whiskey what's your favorite whiskey i've been drinking a lot of buffalo trace at the moment i actually really really like it i've got a bottle up here i'll show you at the end of the video 
uh, of actually the only one I've seen so far, and it's, um, uh, it's whiskey made in the US, uh, but it's single malt, single malt whiskey. So I haven't actually opened it yet, or m maybe I have, no, I haven't opened it yet. So that's interesting. Just thought you should know. something anyone can condone I can't say I've done that <clears throat> um, I'm assuming he's talking from the, from the perspective of a married man because he's got a woman at home right so I wonder if was he married does anyone know was Hank Williams Jr. married uh, but by the way that instrumental was just as sure as the morning sun comes thinking of my sweet girl at home You know, country music hits different when you're drunk. It really does. Because country music has the ability to invoke a whole lot of emotions. You know, happy, sad. And, and, and it, um, music is so descriptive in country that you can uh, really picture what's going on and, and you can really apply it to exactly what's happening in your life. I listened to a song recently that was called... Um, outskirts of heaven and uh, that spoke to me and, and I heard it again the other night when I had a few whiskeys in me and it just hits you differently and I want to point out well I, I've got an interesting perception I'll, I'll let you know at the end but don't play cheap heart that'll tear me all apart I get Wow. I mean, thank you guys for suggesting that. That, that, that didn't disappoint uh, at all. There was one lyric that I heard that I wanted to say, uh, talk about at the end. He goes, so he wakes up after being on, you know, whiskey bed and hellbound. Um, and he wakes up, I'm assuming uh, what I understood from it was that he wakes up next to a different woman and he thinks about the woman, the amazing woman he's got waiting for him at home. And the thought and the guilt of what he's just done and, and what's just happened actually brings him into this cycle of getting whiskey bent and hell bound again, you know, getting drunk again, possibly to, re to forget the remorse that he feels, uh, to feel a bit better again. And then the cycle just continues. That's, uh, honestly, that's, th there's some truth to that, you know. There's some truth to that. I think when you're younger, you use alcohol as a method of having fun. And then slowly, slowly, as you get a little bit older, I wouldn't say necessarily to drown the pain away. I think you have to be in a pretty dire situation to use it for that purpose. But, you know, we all have long, hard days at work. We all have things going on that we just need a little bit of a break from. And sometimes alcohol provides you that break. Um, as long as you don't abuse it, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. But guys, that's just amazing music, man. Um, that thing that he says about, you know, when he's drinking um, and hearing country music, yeah, like I said, it just hits you differently, doesn't it? Um, it hits you in the feels, as they say now. Uh, but damn, that was absolutely amazing. Thank you for recommending it. I 
find it incredible that you've got Hank Williams and Hank Williams Jr. and they're both such amazing artists. Do you think that, I suppose maybe growing up around that kind of talent um, produces uh, more talent, uh, more understanding of what it means to be a country artist, uh, you know, and being now, both of them are in the legend, the legend book as, as some of the greats. It's interesting, that's a really interesting point because you see a lot, especially nowadays in Hollywood, of the children of famous actors or musical artists going into the industry themselves and finding some form of success. But in my opinion, a lot of it's unfounded success. For example, if you look at, um, what's his name again? Will Smith, right? Is it, is it a son or a daughter he has that um, does music or whatever it is? And I just find them woefully untalented. But of course, they're given the shot because of who their father is, right? Who their parents are. Uh, and this doesn't seem to be the case with Hank Williams Jr. at all. Uh, the only He shares a name and he shares a, a genre with his dad. But... He's his own entity. He is good because he's good. He has been successful because he's fantastic. And that's what I absolutely love about it. And I think it all comes down to really how you raise those children, right? And you can probably see if, uh, you know, raised in the way maybe uh, Will Smith's kids. I'm just using him as an example, guys. It, it's it's going to, it goes on everywhere. It will happen everywhere uh, in these uh, sort of situations. Raised in a certain way and... and They'll, they'll just do some weird music videos and, and they really show that they have this Hollywood mentality that doesn't align with the rest of the United States. But you see, obviously, raised in an environment where country is your perhaps your preferred musical um, genre or raised in a certain way, especially, obviously, Hank Williams Jr. was is a, is a, is a southerner. He's from Alabama, uh, probably raised on, on, on the Bible and... Um, holding good values, uh, what people, most people consider to be good values, um, I think produces better music, music that you and I can both relate to. That's really, really incredible, guys. I hope uh, my little analysis there um, didn't cross any lines. I don't think it did. I think it was pretty, pretty basic. That's not to cast any aspersions on, you know, different states or like this between the south and california obviously there are lots of stereotypes of both states um both regions of the united states that's not what i'm talking about but obviously we all know that hollywood hollywood specifically is is not in line with the values and and the beliefs of the rest of the united states it is is its own entity it's even not in in line with really the the thoughts the beliefs and the values of california you have obviously <coughs> um los angeles and then you have which is again its own entity within California realistically you go up to Northern California and the attitude of the people was pretty much the same as is everywhere else in the United States the same thing with New York you know New York City and upstate New York have different values different perceptions of life so yeah anyway um, that's that so that was absolutely amazing guys thank you so much for being here thank you for the suggestion leave me some suggestions down below what do you want to see next of Hank Williams Jr obviously I've still got two more to do and that is um, Dixie on my mind and Texas women I'll get round to those uh, but that was really really good I'll keep taking these suggestions I stopped doing some I didn't stop doing suggestions for a while I just um, didn't I had so many on my list that I didn't get around to doing all of them and I'm still go, still doing it so now I'm taking suggestions as they come so suggest what you want down below and I'll get to it hopefully and if you keep suggesting it and I keep forgetting uh, I'll definitely get around to it don't worry I'm not going to forget so guys have a great day uh, and I'll see you on the next one don't forget if you want to subscribe if you want to support me, subscribe to Patreon. It's just uh, $5 per month. It's down below in the description. Just hit the link and it'll take you to there. It's got a bunch of stuff on there now. We're doing um, what I'm doing. A lot of... Uh, the videos are exclusive. They're longer. They talk about more pressing issues. What's going on currently in the media. What's going on with the politics. And um, and we, we have a small little community there. It's only, I think, 10 people. Um... But we have so many good conversations and I'm really, really close with a lot of them now. And that's really, really nice. So, guys, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you on the next video.